What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 15. Of course, here at the pleasantest of valleys, guys. I have found the milk tanks or the blue tanks or the the tanks. They were sitting in the milk factory. Remember, I like hauled milk, milk, not milk. <laughs> I hauled milk at the end of the, or the beginning of the last video, and then at the end of the last video, I was like, "What did I do with those milk tanks?" Oh, I just need to tab to the truck, and they're sitting there ready to go. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, that's me. <laughs> so we need to go get some glue. Man, we've missed out on making a lot of drywall, actually. I just completely forgot about the glue being out. There is a lot to do on this map, and sometimes you just kind of kind of space out and uh, forget about things that need to get done. So we are, of course, now running to go turn the, the glue take the glue to the drywall place and make us some drywall but we have boards and paper we can haul uh, in a minute here and then I mean there's just tons of stuff to haul and actually that combine there needs to is he gonna turn around yeah he's turning around but then he'll need to get moved which means we can start a cedar here on 22 ooh, ooh. and we can go ahead and start planting our hemp that we are gonna plant guys we are gonna do the whole map, or I shouldn't say the whole map, everything we are farming currently, all the fields, uh, we are going to go ahead and turn those all into hemp. So that should be good. Because we need that for the textile factory and the fair and whatnot eventually. Let's go find said combine. There we go. He's got a few minutes, but we'll go ahead and ride with him. Go ahead and ride with him, and then, we, yeah, we need to find our cedars. Uh, I don't know what. I think they're both up at the red farm, the ones that are kind of over here. I should probably start keeping one of them over here at blue, uh, just because it's closer. But uh, for some reason, I keep running back up to red farm. And actually, the other thing I need to accomplish here soonish is uh, I need to haul manure. I'm running out of fertilizer, guys. I keep talking about it. Um, but uh, I kind of keep forgetting to, um, to actually do it. So I don't know how much manure I have. I should probably um, just give the cows some more straw and some uh, mixed rations to uh, get me some more manure. Actually, let's hire you back out. Let's go check here real fast. I know he's not going to run while I'm in here, but that's okay. That is okay. Um, wow, we have a lot of milk. <laughs> We have a lot of milk, guys. Why do we have 799 cows? That's so... Why not 8... You know what? I don't know why we don't have 800. If we're, we're going to have 799, we should have 800. We should have 1,000 is what we should have. But I'll never keep up with them. And I don't need to because of all the milk. Uh, actually, can I just flat sell milk anywhere on this map? Is that a thing? I kind of don't think it is, uh, but if I could, holy jumping, guys. Yeah, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. You guys might have to let me know if uh, if there is somewhere to actually haul milk, uh, just outright milk. Let me know. Please and thank you. I would appreciate it, guys. But since there's not a number for it in the storage there, I would say there is not a place to just flat out sell it. So... Cause there's a fair bit of money sitting there so that just means I need to keep it uh, turned into cheese guys need to keep being cheesy and uh, keep doing that so that that guy by the way that combine I just moved the truck will work where he's at uh, he'll just start driving to him uh, here in a second he was going to 22 but he'll jump over to 16 he's sitting in 22 now but he'll jump over to 16 when needed uh, that course works for all those fields right there. And actually, if I bought 23, I could uh, I could start farming 23, and, and he would work for that, too. He would work for 31. Um, you could probably go the other way and go over to 89, and he would probably work. Uh, as long as there's not trees there. I think there are trees. It would be the problem. This course play is kind of blind. When it's, like, going to the point, to the combine, it's straight line. So if there's anything in the way... Um, can cause an issue definitely so 
You want to try to avoid that when possible, having stuff in your way of your courses and everything. So, yeah, try to avoid it when possible. Or, you know, you just go cut down all the trees. <laughs> and by cut down, I mean we would probably, if we were going to do it, which is kind of unlikely, but we, if we were, we would chip them, obviously. So we're wood chipping fools. We still have yet to cut down a log on this map and actually sell it. Well, guys, there's going to be some background noise in my house, which you can probably hear, so I will cut this video and come back in just a second. All right, you guys, I am back. Sorry about that little little break there in the middle of the video. <laughs> uh, and I actually did not think to check where we were at on time. So, oh, man, goodness. I guess I will just record until I am done recording. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to be. I uh, did not think to look at the time of recording uh, when I got up and walked away. Because A, there was background noise, and then B, I had to go tell somebody something. Um, so, kind of two things happened there, but it's all good. It is all good. I'm back farming now. A little out of breath. I should have waited a minute before I, <sighs> before I sat down. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, the stuff you deal with listening to my, my, my videos, right, guys? Hey, that first trailer still has, or the first tank still has, uh, glue. Can you imagine a trailer full of glue? How much of a mess that must be on the inside, like a tanker like this? I'm pretty sure you'd have to, uh... They probably have some kind of, like, product to, uh, counteract the glue or... Or something, or at least, you know, you'd have to, uh... Like, get in there with a fire hose or something, I don't know. Vacuum cleaner? A, a dust buster? Dust buster. Totally a dust buster, guys. Yep. If you guys don't know what a dust buster was, is that what it was called? Dust buster, a little vacuum? I think that's what it was called, yeah. And then for a while, they were actually like, building them into cars. It was a whole thing, guys. It was a whole thing. You had to be around the 90s to uh, appreciate it. Probably 80s, actually. <laughs> 80s, 90s to appreciate the dust buster. It was an interesting little bugger. Definitely. Definitely was. So, let's get some more glue here. Uh, assume our tanks will hold another another round over there. And actually, let's go to... I don't think it's in this group, though. I think it's the other truck. What is this truck? Okay, let's get this truck and go get some paper. Or no, we were going to haul paper to paper first. To the thing first. Then bring whatever is left over here to drywall. So let's go get that. We'll make a couple runs down to uh, Kellogg's and then probably get out of here. Because, I, like I said, I don't know how long this video was when I when I got up and walked away. And I didn't think to look at the clock while I was away to figure out like my time of how long I was away. So it's a whole thing, guys. ADD happens. I saw something shiny and went, ooh, piece of candy. Except for it wasn't a piece of candy. I did have some peanut butter while I was away. Mmm, peanut butter. Gotta love me some peanut butter. Alright, it's been a while since I've done the whole question of the video thing. So, the video, the question for this video is going to be chunky or smooth. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Don't take that out of context, you sick people. Chunky or smooth peanut butter. I am a smooth peanut butter kind of guy. Um, my, I, my, like, top peanut butter so two questions chunky or smooth peanut butter and what's your like number one peanut butter my number one peanut butter has got to be Reese's peanut butter you can buy the jars of it oh my god I could just sit there with a spoon and a big cup of milk and I would be the happiest kid on earth yep Reese's peanut butter it's probably full of sugar and really bad for me but but it's really good and I haven't had any in like years probably I need to pick me up a little jar of it. The other thing that, that I don't really care for with it is it's kind of expensive compared to like regular peanut butter. And we actually buy most of our, not most, all of our peanut butter at Sam's Club. We buy the two big old things of it at a time and it lasts us quite a while. So that is how we do peanut butter in my house though, guys. So I think it's, was it Jif? Is that a peanut butter? Yeah, I think it is Jif. So... Used to be, we used to get the big, it was like a 
paper almost, like a cardboard tube of peanut butter. I know it sounds really weird, but those of you that know what I'm talking about, it was Peter Pan peanut butter. And uh, that stuff was really, really good, but they had that big recall that time, and ever since then, my mom's like, no, nope, not buying it. <laughs> so, you know, recalls happen, though. It's no big deal. But it was like a... Imagine like a really, not any taller, but really big around, not like huge, but bigger around, uh, Pringle can almost is what it was like. Maybe like the size of like a dessert plate, you know what I'm talking about? Like that size of a, of a thing. And that was, um, that was about the size of this Peter Pan peanut butter thing. And, uh, yeah, we used to get those like crazy when we were younger lads back in, in the day of younger younger times or I don't know what I'm talking about now guys I just I've run out of things to say and uh, I don't remember what we were talking about when I when I before I left so yeah short-term memory loss although I will say guys we are at actual recording time right now is that 30 minutes so like I said I don't know how long this video is I don't know so if it's over if it's under it's probably gonna be over if anything because, uh, you know, I kind of ramble on sometimes, and that's just the way it is. Um, so, I'll have to go cut it out. Because you don't want to want to see just nothing moving. It was just sitting there, and my microphone was open, so who knows what it captured while I was away. <laughs> who knows, who knows, who knows. So, I will definitely be cutting that out. No, no big deal to cut that out. So, some editing may occur in this video. Normally, I try not to edit these uh, Pleasant Valleys at all. Um, they're just easier if I don't have to. So, Because I'm recording, obviously, on the PC using OBS, Open Broadcast Software, I do not need to record or to edit usually. All right, cool. So our paper's full here. So now any extra paper gets shipped over to drywall plant. So anything that's up there right now, we'll go ahead and run that. And then maybe run a load of boards, and then we'll get out of here. Meanwhile, our combines are still chewing away, harvesting like crazy. Looks like he's just about done with 16 on the blue farm, so we'll have to move him. We'll put him in 30, so two combines in that field, they will collide eventually. Takes a while. Takes a good while. Uh, but like I did with last week's videos, guys, I'll probably go ahead and do it this week again, where... Well, actually, let's see. Let's see. I may not have time to get it all done. But what I'm thinking about doing is harvesting everything and replanting. But I may not have time before I record again because it's actually let you guys in on some secrets here. It is actually a Tuesday right now. It is Tuesday, September 9th. Or not, oh my god, not September 9th. September 20th. <laughs> Tuesday, September 20th at 3.46 p.m. Uh, I'm recording this particular video. And... Uh, I can't record any tomorrow night. In fact, I won't have any free time tomorrow because it's a farm day. My dad has taken off now. That's why I don't stream on Saturdays. If or, Oh, my God, if I could just get my days right. I don't stream on Wednesdays anymore because my dad's taking days off to uh, get ready for our pumpkin party. Pumpkin, sorry. Pumpkin party down at our farm. So he's been taking Wednesdays off for that. So that's why I do not stream on Wednesday nights anymore. I still stream Monday. Monday, Thursday, no. Oh my god, if my dates, I should edit all this crap out, but I won't. <laughs> Monday, Friday, Saturday is when I stream for sure. And you never know, I may spr start sprinkling in some uh, random streams uh, when I'm available. So, I would like to do some more streaming. I, I am going to miss the four-day-a-week uh, stream schedule. I've not actually you know, missed one yet because... Today's only Tuesday. Tomorrow would be the first one of those that I should be missing, or I will be missing, I should say. Okay, I can get this trailer in here normally. Come on. He's got to get it to jackknife just the right way. There you go. Uh, so this will actually be, as of recording this video, obviously not when it comes out, but as of recording this video, it'll be the first Wednesday that I miss, but I'm... I'm bummed that I have to do it, but at the same time, family comes first, and I hate sending my dad down to the farm for a whole day by himself, basically. Because um, you just never know what can happen. And it's I'm not saying he's old and, you know, I mean, he's getting up there in age, but I'm not saying it's anything to do with that, necessarily. It's 
I don't like being at the farm by myself. I don't like anybody being down there around all the tools and you just never know what can happen. So to have somebody else there just in case is usually a good idea. And uh, yeah, so I just hate hate sending him down there by himself. So family comes first and that's where what what's going on with Wednesdays there. Um, and that'll be for a while because he, he takes Wednesdays off pretty much all winter. And uh, so I'll have to turn my schedule back in and maybe the Wednesday streams will come back uh, like after we get past our pumpkin party. Sorry, pumpkin party. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, apparently I say that word wrong. And people on TeamSpeak and uh, streams have made me aware that I say that word wrong. So I, I try to over say it now, over emphasize it and everything. So pump. Can <laughs> I say pumpkin, and I know it's wrong, but that's what I say. So deal with it. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, maybe after things calm down with our party, um, we can we can start bringing Wednesday streams back. Cause you know, don't like being out the farm all night. You know, if we're there all day, don't really care to be down there all night too. So. And after our party, there's not as much going on down there. Uh, we will be working on some of the Christmas light stuff, getting stuff ready down there as well. And there's a lot of maintenance that needs to be done. We have a lot of running engines. Um, and there's always maintenance to be done on those engines down there. So, uh, you know, when you have like a quote-unquote fleet of old stuff, there's always something that needs to be fixed. Always something that needs some work. So it just kind of happens. Um, that's pretty much what winter is and usually we'll come up with some winter projects um, you know that we just don't have time for in the summer there were there were Sundays where literally we go to the farm we weed in the garden a little bit let's say or we plant some punk pumpkins back in uh, you know uh, what's the months June and July when we were planting our pumpkins um, there were Sundays where we would go down there and plant cut the grass and basically be out of time so um not a lot you know in the shed work can happen down there over the winter and you really or i mean summer and you really don't want to because that shed gets hot and uh you know there's only so much a fan can do when it's still just blowing hot air so it kind of sucks it kind of sucks but that's just the way it is so we deal with it guys we deal with it all right so we're gonna go run this load of boards and then we're going to be done. We are definitely over time by now, I would assume. Uh, I'm at 37 minutes of actually recording for this video. So by the time I edit out when I was gone, I'm sure we're over time now. But that's okay, guys. A little bonus time never killed anybody. Uh, I know these 20-minute videos are a lot easier to watch than the hour-long videos. And to be honest, I almost feel like I kind of accomplished the same because I'm using course play. Um, you know, I'm accomplishing a lot right now by having all that stuff lit up harvesting the sunflowers for me uh yeah i have a i have a combine blocked up there but that's okay uh he's probably waiting for his truck in fact we can probably figure out which guy it is it is the guy in 27 and he yes, he's waiting for his truck his truck's approaching currently the guy in 16 is done so we need to go ahead and move him to field 30 and 37 there that's all one big field there so we will move him over uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to try to go ahead and finish the harvest and get the next one rolling uh, or be ready to start the next one on hemp. This will be interesting. We have harvested hemp before, but it has been a long time on this map since we have done so. So I'm not sure where we're going to be at, how, how much yield it is. I not, I think it kind of has a yo, a, a, a yo. Oh my God, words are so hard. I think it has a low yield. But I'm not totally sure. Um, I could check the PDF, but uh, I don't think I even have it on this computer, so that might make that a little difficult to check. But uh, if it's super low, we will replant and go at it again because we want to get our three, four million out of it just to have. So that's kind of my goal here: is get three, four million of everything and uh, see where it gets us. So, all right, this will be full then. Or wait, no. Does it need one more load? I'm so confused. I think it will be full. Yeah, this will be full now. And then we have to do drywall. We have to do another uh, 100,000 drywall. 
and then we'll be done with uh, this step here and the next step will be the ingredients so I'm sure we will get into that we need to finish up some of the other stuff we've got going to L over there at Frito Lay uh, we need to get that one going um, it needs more ingredients I do believe so until then guys I'm your boy John from Poopla thank you all very much for watching and until next time, make sure you hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And toodles, I guess, is, is all I have to say. Thanks for watching and uh, toodles.